All right, we are continuing on with our RAD bio, RAD safety um, review here with stochastic versus deterministic effects. These are the two main types that you need to know, uh, especially for your ART. So let's help you with some of the terminology that we might see here. So stochastic versus deterministic. Stochastic effects do not have a threshold and they're considered random. No dose is safe, which is the, the concept of the linear non-threshold. They can be divided into somatic and genetic effects, and I'll explain those later on. Um, among the somatic effects, secondary cancer is the most important. It develops because radiation causes DNA mutations directly and indirectly. The genetic effects are involving the offspring. Diagnostic x-ray is um, falls under the stochastic and also the linear non-threshold response. Sorry, my screen is cutting off here, but my line connects at the corner. Um, and then deterministic is often referred to as tissue reactions. In the past, we called deterministic non-stochastic. Why it needs 17 names, I don't know. Um, but tissue reactions, these are gonna have a threshold and it's gonna be non-linear. So your deterministic effects are gonna be the nonlinear curve and it's gonna be a threshold, so it's gonna start at a certain point. You'll see tissue reactions, which could be the epilation, erythema, and then cataracts. There's also the three types of acute radiation syndromes. So stochastic effects, what falls under it? Um, sometimes stochastic is also called probabilistic. The main one that we'll see is leukemia, but it could be other types of cancers, it could be bone cancer, lung, thyroid, breast cancer. There's could be um, some local tissue damage. It um, can involve the shortening of lifespan and then um, genetic damage. Deterministic is your tissue reactions. It can be the three types of acute radiation syndromes or the local tissue damage could be the skin reddening, um, the cataracts in the eyes, epilation the sterility of gonads, and those are sort of our main examples there. So some terms to remember, stochastic is gonna be the random. It's also called probabilistic. The dose determines the chance of getting the effect, but not the severity. Meaning, if you are exposed to 100 CAT scans a year, and I'm only exposed to one CAT scan a year, your chances of getting, say, cancer are higher. But because cancer is a random, I could get cancer and you could not. Um, so it's not necessarily saying we will see you get this result. It's saying you're more likely to get the result by that. So it's the chance of getting it, not the severity. It's like winning the lottery or the um, like stocks are unpredictable. So that's stochastic. Remember, it's linear non-threshold. Deterministic is not random. Um, it involves the tissue reactions. The dose determines the severity of the effect, not the chance. Okay, so you have to have, say, this much money in the bank before you start to see a result. You have to be exposed to this much radiation before you see skin reddening or before you see acute radiation syndrome. So it has a threshold involved. Just some helpful hints. Again, I've probably already covered it, but stochastic will be random. Probabilistic, meaning it probably will be happening. It's also going to be um, linear and non-threshold. Deterministic is not random. And it's going to involve like the hair loss, the cataracts, the skin injury and your acute radiation syndromes, your cancer, your leukemia, your hereditary effects, they're going to be under stochastic. So if you can put these terms into their two separate sort of buckets, what goes in stochastic and what goes in deterministic, these, when you're hit with these questions, will be much easier to answer.